Hello everyone. Welcome to Nesso Academy. In the previous lecture we understood increment and decrement operators. Now we are in this lecture and the name of this lecture is comma operator. In this lecture we will understand the concept of comma operator in C++. So without any further delay, let's get started and let's see what are the topics. There is only one topic and the name of the topic is the comma operator. Let's proceed further and let's understand the comma operator. The comma operator is used to combine multiple expressions in the same line. With the help of the comma operator, we can combine multiple expressions that two in the same line. By expression, I mean something that evaluates down to a value. So an expression always gives us a value in return. I hope the meaning of expression is clear to you and I hope the meaning of comma operator is also clear to you. Comma operator is used to combine multiple expressions in the same line. Apart from this, it evaluates expressions from left to right and returns the result of the last expression. Comma operator evaluates all the expressions from left to right and it also returns the result of the last expression. Now to understand this point better, let's take one simple example program. Here in this example program, I have included the iostream header file because in the main function I am using stdcout. Inside this main function, I have defined these two variables x and y. Variable y is initialized to 2 here. After this, we have this line x equal to within parentheses y plus plus comma 20 comma 30. Here I am trying to store the result of y plus plus comma 20 comma 30 in variable x. Now if you observe this, this is an expression because it evaluates down to a value. This expression is formed from multiple expressions. Here we have a total of three expressions and they are all combined with the help of comma operators. We know with the help of comma operator, we can combine multiple expressions in the same line. This is exactly what I am doing here. Here we have this expression y plus plus and I am calling this an expression because it evaluates down to a value. We already know this is the post increment operator. It gives us some value. Then we have 20 and 30. These are values themselves. We can call them expressions too. So we have a total of three expressions. Now we need to evaluate this entire expression. And this will be evaluated by evaluating all these expressions from left to right. So first we need to evaluate y plus plus. We know this is post increment operator. With the help of this operator, we will get value 3 in the variable y and here we will get the old value of y which is 2. So here in place of y++, plus plus, we will get 2. Then we have value 20, this will be evaluated down to 20. Then we have 30, this will be evaluated down to 30. So we know what's the result of the last expression. The result of the last expression is 30 and this result will be returned to variable x. This is what I have mentioned here. With the help of comma operator, all the expressions will be evaluated from left to right. We have evaluated expressions from left to right. But the result of the last expression will be returned. We know the result of the last expression is 30. This will be returned. So we can say this expression will be evaluated down to 30. So we can say that this expression is equivalent to 30 and hence x is equal to 30. I hope this is clear to you. So we learned the purpose of the comma operator here. We are using comma operator to combine multiple expressions. After this, with the help of STDC out, I am trying to display the value of x. We know x is holding 30, so 30 will be displayed on the screen. Because of this std and l, we will move to the next line. And then we have stdc out with y. We know the value of y is 3. This is the current value. 
because of y plus plus we got 3 here that's why 3 will be displayed in the next line so when we execute this program we will get output as 30 and 3 these two are in the separate lines now i hope it is clear to you how to use the comma operator and why it is so useful i would like to mention that here the comma is not acting as the operator but it is acting as the separator this is exactly what i have mentioned here for variable declarations comma acts as the separator it does not act as the operator these are not expressions which will get evaluated here we have variable declarations these variables are separated by this comma i hope this is clear to you so comma plays different roles in different situations here comma is acting as the separator here these two commas are acting as the operators i hope this is clear to you now you might be thinking where do we use comma operator here i have mentioned this comma operator is mainly used in loops you may already know what loops are if you have already studied c programming language or some other programming language then you might know about while loop for loop in case of for loop sometimes we may need multiple expressions as the update expression we may want to update multiple loop variables for this purpose we may need to combine multiple expressions and for this we can use the comma operator in the for loop let's say we have two variables i and j these are loop variables and we may want to increment these variables for this purpose we can write the update expression as i plus plus comma j plus plus if we want to update these two variables in the same line then we need to write i plus plus comma j plus plus as the update expression of the for loop so with the help of this update expression clearly we would be able to increment the two variables so this is the main use case of the comma operator with the help of the comma operator we can combine expressions like i plus plus and j plus plus and therefore we can form a single expression from multiple expressions so with this we have learned the comma operator properly now we know what is the comma operator how to use the comma operator and where it is used so with this we have learned the topic the comma operator now we are done with this lecture okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this lecture i will see you in the next one